I can tell you overnight, suddenly you heard the shrill tone of this ubiquitous cell phone weather alerts. In this case, word that a hurricane warning, also a storm surge warning had been posted to this area. Storm surge meaning the waters will rise. They will likely rush inland, inundating coastal communities and posing a deadly threat. Irma's fury, awe-inspiring and terrifying. Overnight, the major hurricane battering Turks and Caicos on its march toward the U.S. mainland. I'm scared as hell about my house. It's a race against time now in South Florida and beyond. I get the feeling this is the way it's going to be. With hundreds of thousands of residents ordered out. The storm now wider than the Florida Peninsula. Forecasters saying it could pave a path of destruction the length and width of the state. Every Florida family must prepare to evacuate regardless of the coast you're on. Those already on the move packing highways. Google Maps shows the state of urgency in bright red, indicating heavy traffic on the interstate headed north. Lines for gas bumper to bumper. But at many gas stations, the pumps have gone dry. Fuel trucks now getting police escorts through the traffic to replenish the supply. For those waiting, the fear is real. This is huge. It's really huge. And, you know, these surges by the beach, you know, the water's going to come up really high. You know, you get trapped in your homes. It's really scary. Images from the Caribbean in the wake of Irma tell a story of paradise lost. Islands like Barbuda and St. Martin are decimated. President Trump dealing with the nation's second natural disaster in as many weeks. The White House releasing photos of an Oval Office briefing on Irma. The Senate voting through a nearly $16 billion hurricane relief package, which includes Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, that now goes to the House. With the storm's path uncertain, the Air Force is now relocating dozens of warplanes from bases across the southeast. And residents in Georgia and the Carolinas are stocking up as they wait to see which way Irma will turn. Miami Beach, where we are under a mandatory evacuation order, and Matt and Savannah, police and officials here have said once the winds reach 39 miles per hour, first responders simply won't respond because of the danger of getting their officers and firefighters out in those conditions. Mm. All right, Lester, thank you very much. And that's why the evacuations are so important. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.